Welcome to Ringdale Active BMS. The world's most versatile and cost-effective building automation, lighting control, and energy management solution. What makes Active BMS and light space management from Ringdale superior is its philosophy behind the technology and its implementation. Most large buildings already use a form of building management system which controls lifts, pumps, and other mechanical equipment. The annual cost of conventional systems from brands like Honeywell, Siemens, Philips, Johnson Controls, and Hubble is significant. Additions are expensive, often requiring consultants or the manufacturer to make adjustments to those systems. Ringdale Active BMS provides a simple user interface that can be operated from any HTML5 compatible device such as a Windows PC or an Apple desktop as well as mobile devices like tablets or Apple iPads or in an operations room big screen or large surface application. Active BMS is a building management system that integrates any electrical and electromechanical device in one building automation system. Active BMS can also manage, schedule, and control indoor air handlers as well as lighting zones. Ringdale makes a large range of sensors, relay, and motor controllers that can be connected to a light space controller, which is the interface between the devices that need to be controlled, and sensors that need to be read, like battery voltage, ambient daylight, or water loop and plenum temperatures. Active BMS and LightSpace can communicate from an LSC directly with an active LED lighting zone and a LightSpace manager connecting directly with a simple six wire telephone type cable. On the back of the LSC is the power and ethernet connection that allows the unit to communicate with the Active BMS server software or directly from an application. LSC devices can be powered from the grid or from 48 volt to 75 volt DC, providing an ideal platform for mission critical applications. To manage active LED lighting zones, the LSC connects directly from one of its outputs to the first light fixture's power supply. An input port can be associated with the lighting zone's output port and a light space manager connected to that input. An Ethernet network cable coming from a switch can be connected to the LSC. An LSC can communicate with other LSC devices via broadcast and to a server. Event data is collected directly from EDSAP sensors and light fixtures by the LSC and transmitted to the server for collection. The server also has control over input and output devices, allowing the reprogramming of wall or ceiling mounted LSM devices from a central location. Active BMS has the most powerful rule engine of its kind. Simple rules can be applied to lighting zones, air conditioning zones, or any other electromechanical device. Also, complex rules can be applied taking multiple sensor inputs and applying algorithms to trigger actions like sending an email or turning fans, air handlers, or pump equipment on or off or adjusting a valve with a 0 to 10 volt input. The HTML5 browser dashboard gives an overview of mission critical parameters such as battery voltage, water loop temperature, overall energy consumption. The rule engine allows demand response requests to be allocated to zones that have been set to react to demand responses. Significant energy savings can be achieved when energy usage rules can be enforced throughout the enterprise. Site plans and floor plans can be easily drawn using the zone editor. Once the site plan is complete, zones can be managed by touching or clicking the area and managing it. You can look at the area's current energy use or take manual control or set parameters for the input device on that zone like maximum light allowed or putting the LSM remotely into off, on, or auto mode. Adapting active BMS to conventional electrical devices is easy using a relay controller board. Each relay controller can either directly control small loads or operate a contactor or relay to switch higher loads or three-phase loads. 
The relay controllers are connected to an LSC controller for server or LSM device management. A daylight sensor connected directly to the relay board or via an LSC can be used to trigger relays to turn on contactors for outside conventional or non-dimmable lighting. The 4 relay controller also has a 0 to 10 volt output to allow dimming of legacy lighting devices or to control valves or variable speed fans that have a 0 to 10 volt input. A smaller 2 relay controller that can be controlled directly from an LSC or an LSM that can be wired directly into a junction box is also available. All relay controllers can be locally managed through their EDSAP port using a laptop or PC with application software and a USB dongle or centrally managed through an LSC. Relay controller may be used to operate curtains, air handlers, fans, pumps, as well as sequencing the turning on of machines or the turning off of a building's circuits to avoid equipment damage from back EMF. The Active BMS server software is running on a Microsoft OS platform using SQL as its database. Active BMS is ideal for large installations like stadiums where more than one operations room needs to have full access to the system's capabilities. Active BMS also lends itself to be used in centralized applications where multiple sites are controlled from one or more servers in the cloud, so no local server is required. A fail-safe strategy that allows local control when no server access is available, as well as the ability to use LSC and relay controller devices as programmable logic controllers, also known as PLCs, where the local program takes over if connection to the server is severed or temporarily not available. Both the relay controller and the LSC have built-in precision clocks as well as the ability to be run directly from a 48 volt DC power source for mission critical applications. Let us show you how Active BMS can benefit your organization. Go to www.ringdale.com slash active BMS or contact Ringdale directly for a consultation.